Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from a 3D scene to a pixelated one. Get started, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new scene. And for my scene, I am just gonna use a test model. I like Kingdom Hearts, so I just grabbed this one for the guard armor heartless. And I'm just gonna move the camera here. Awesome. So if we look at our scene, currently it is not pixelated. I also want to add a plane I'll go ahead and do that just so we have something, some sort of ground. And just to get this to fit better, I'm going to scale it way down. Go, center my camera. And to do what I'm doing with the camera, you can just click on your camera and then press Control, Shift, and F. And then the camera will align to your scene view. Right. And I wanna add a different material here for the ground. So I'll look here real quick. There we go, that looks fine. All right, so the way this works, is for our camera, I am just going to duplicate it, untag this one, I'm just gonna call it camera, and I'm gonna parent it to the regular main camera, and I want its output to go to a render texture, so to do that, I'm gonna right click in my project window, go to create and render texture, and for this, I want it to be a 16 by nine aspect ratio, so not, so I'll start with 16 and nine, and then I'll just do like times or be another times four. And this one can be times eight. There we go. And I'll just do times two again. So it's just getting whatever resolution you want it to be, depending on how pixelated you want. I'm gonna try it with this 256 by 144. And so we'll have to set the camera output to that render texture. So I'll go ahead and do that. Now that camera is outputting to the render texture that we have. Now I'll go ahead and add UI to our scene. Let's do UI and canvas. I want it to scale with screen size and I'll target a 1920 by 1080 and I'll choose expand, why not? Then we'll want a raw image and I'll drag in our render texture for that. And you can see that the render texture is already on the screen here. I set native size, the aspect ratio is correct, but I want it to cover the whole thing. So I'll do 1920 for the width and 1080 for the height. And you already see we have a pixelated look here. It's kind of blurry. To fix the blurriness, let's go into our render texture and for filter mode, we'll go to point. And after doing so, you can see the edges are more defined now instead of blurry. So if we check out the difference there, bilinear is blurry, trilinear is blurry, point is going to give you the nice hard edges that you want. And then I also, to sell the effect more so that it's like a pixel art, effect. I will go to projection and I want to change it to orthographic. And yeah, that is pretty much it as far as this effect goes. Uh, it's really all in the render texture. So if I were to make this higher resolution, I'll apply it by two for both axes. So increasing the resolution will do just that. It'll increase the resolution and reduce the pixelated effect. If you wanted to get crazy, you could by reducing this by a lot. And you can see here that at lower resolutions, it gets more pixely, but it's also harder to make out what it is. And again, we only have the one thing. This right here is our render texture. So I'll go ahead and just like hide that from the view. And yeah, so you can have your scene look like this. And then in game, you can have it set to whatever resolution you want. This could be good for horror games and such. If you wanted to do like the low aspect ratio, aesthetic, PlayStation 1 graphics, etc. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like. Feel free to subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.